So we are out at the Florida Bushcraft Meetup. Uh, so as the astute observer that I'm sure you are, you can probably already realize that I got here a little late today. So we are out at the Florida Bushcraft Meetup, and things happened today that held me back, so by the time I got here it was a little bit dark. But tomorrow they're going to have a bunch of classes and a uh, bunch of stuff going on. I'll actually be teaching a class tomorrow. So it should be a lot of fun. I hate that I missed Bodier's tarp class today, but I'm sure it was good. But now, I was offered a burger so I don't have to cook. I'm gonna go grab a burger, I'm gonna have a drink, and I'm gonna hang out with some folks and just have a good time tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. So, it was a awesome night. So, I didn't even climb in my hammock till after midnight. It was awesome. We had a great time hanging around the fire. Like I said, I got a late start yesterday, so I didn't catch some of the stuff that went on um, yesterday afternoon. I, I hate that I missed it, but it happens sometimes. I had things go on that I couldn't avoid, and uh, so unfortunately I missed that, but we got a bunch of cool stuff that's going to happen today and uh, as you can see people are starting to mill around now and and get going we've got some got some little fires started and people are starting to uh, make coffee and cook breakfast so it's going to be a good time today i've got to make some coffee and uh since i had somebody give me a burger for dinner last night i've got some steaks to cook so we're going to have some steaks for breakfast this morning again it was good at hancon gonna be good here. <laughs> Coffee. That's for Bodier. So, breakfast was delicious. My coffee was awesome, as usual. Now everybody's starting to gather up a little bit and uh, getting ready to do some classes. I believe there's a radio class that's about to start. And uh, Brian Story is up here, Story Leatherworks, and he's got some little leather projects that he's gonna get people started on. So, uh, Things are doing good. So this is the Florida Bushcraft Meetup. I know I said that last night, but very well done. So I'm going to be teaching a class later today. I got a cool little badge, and our buddy Mike Wims hooked me up with this awesome new Rewild Outdoors hat. It's been great already. This is going to be fun. Oh no, I'm not teaching a class on it. I just wanted to give people something to do. So this goes on the outside view. And you're going to tap it. Just like that. And that's going to set our top. Alright, so first up, radio class, a communications class. So that should be pretty cool. To give you an idea why I got picked to do this class. I've been a ham radio operator for like 20 years. I have an extra class license, which is the highest license of the three you can get. Um, I've got a GRMS license, and I have extensive uh, background actually with emergency management communications. So I've dealt with satellite systems and stuff like that. So that's how they kind of 
said, hey, this would be kind of fun. I know it's a little outside of bushcraft, but there's nothing that says we can't mix technology with bushcraft to make the experience better. So that's what I wanted to do. I want to talk about the three types of radio signal because that controls more than anything how you're going, what you're going to be able to do. Yeah, you could do, you could do the fur, you could do the drive ones work pretty good. The score is so fine on it. Some pine needles will do. And sometimes, you know, people... How long do you have to leave it in the fire? Basically till the smoke starts, stops coming out from around the edges. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, it's a, is pine sap able to catch the spark or does that need to get hot? It's, it's got to get, I, it's, the pine sap kind of puts the spark out. Like it'll land in it and then it just kind of yeah, singes it out. It's kind of like landing in it. You want, you want something really dry, something with a lot of surface area. Uh, and you can take this, you can put it under your pile of twigs and sticks. And it'll, 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 see, I've still got it. But like I said, still in it's five hundred dollars better for sure, in my eyes. All right, so we're about to get started with the spoon carving contest. Uh, most everybody's already got their spoon blanks, so it should be a lot of fun. We're getting ready to do the uh, fire challenge and uh, look at this setup. Now, if that's not somebody with a plan, I don't know what is. That is awesome. Yep, all pretty close from here. So. <laughs> so the plan is they have to build a fire that will burn this twine in half. And the uh, first person to get the twine burned in half wins the challenge. It's up right here, eh? I'd set up under the twine. You, I think you can go ahead and get it set up. Alright, so we're starting our fire challenge. Um, as you can see, we have several stations set up for the contestants. That's a good word for them, right? Yeah. So the idea is, just like on the one popular survival show, they start a fire and they have to build and nurture that fire to raise up to burn the twine. First person to burn through their rope wins. And that prize will be announced later tonight along with everything else. So they don't even know what they're playing for, but I promise you it's worth it. Um, the other thing, anybody that slips me money, it's a dollar per minute, gets knocked off the time. <laughs> so even if somebody finishes before you, you might be able to win that way. <laughs> good, above bribery. good plan. Yeah, so the rules is uh, ferro rod only, ferro rod and knife or ferro rod and scraper. And they're only allowed to use resources that they found out here. So uh, no cotton balls of Vaseline, uh, no fat wood from home. We had a couple people find fat wood out here, so that counts. Um, yeah, cool. pretty exciting. So we're kind of going along, and really what this is, it's, uh, it's an exercise in learning how to fully build your fire when it counts. Right. You know, so to, because a lot of people can get a quick fire, but getting a sustained fire that's it can grow is really what matters right? right so that's when something like this really shows you what types of resources you have to have prepped and ready to go so I'll tell you the number one mistake I see with fire building is people lack in resources in the initial thing and they get a fire so it's going out then they have to go and try and gather more and by then they have to start all over and that sucks no one we've all done it and it sucks every time yep so preparation 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 and you win that's so. right We'll awesome. see how it goes. I'm pretty excited. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, everybody ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got fire. We got fire over here. We got fire back there. We got fire here. Four, five fires. All right, all right, all right. We got the fire built that one up. Right here. Big fire over here with the fat wood. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Right there. All right. We got contact. We got contact. Oh, look oh, here. Look here. Look here. Oh, this is close. This on fire. Yep. Oh. Got the winner. Got the winner. Keep going. Keep going. Run her up. Run her up. Run her up. Third place. Okay, I see flames on the string. Yep. There you go. Got it. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, the ones that have burned through the string, let's go ahead and start putting them out. Okay, so we got our winner here. What was your game plan? What was your game plan? Uh, burn that shit faster than everybody else. <laughs> that was the game plan. So you actually set your fire on a pedestal. I lifted it up to get it closer. I had all this grass, and I was just. Yep, perfect. Awesome perfect. job, man. Awesome job. Fire. You almost got it. Yeah! <laughs> so that turned out super awesome. Everybody had a great time. Everybody worked really hard. And uh, just to watch the tenacity of some of these folks who, even after somebody won the event, they kept going and kept pushing. We still have one over here that's working on it. And uh, it's really, really cool to see this. So I think it was a success. You? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Very cool. There's nothing on it to eat right now because it's not springtime. This is um, Smilax, otherwise known as Cast Briar. It comes in different species, so you may walk around here and find some more that looks similar but doesn't have these T shaped leaves. You'll find one that's starting to fan out. It's not all the way fanned out and it's not all the way closed. That's typically when it's pretty much about right. And so with these, what you want to do is you want to grab it and a quick yank on it. Sometimes they pop out super easy, and sometimes it sucks, and you just move on to the next one. <laughs> All right, so it's almost time for the raffle. This is gonna be good. There's a lot of cool stuff being raffled off up here. It's gonna be cool. I know I get a lot of credit for these types of things, but there's a 0% chance any of this could happen. Not people like him, not people like Brian, Bodier, the rest of my friends over there, everywhere where you guys are, Sean's out there somewhere. Like, I can't actually <laughs> see any of you, We're here. but I know you're there, except for some guys that will leave that spot. So <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to say thank you to a few of you guys first, before we started. Which is why we're so desperately trying to get you over here, you know? We've never done a real event before. So the point of doing this is to kind of test the waters to see if we can do larger things. and. You know, there's some speed bumps, and some things we can work on, but overall, it's a pretty big success, I think. And it's only going to lead to bigger things, you know. Well done, well done. Absolutely. Woo! All right. You guys ready to win some stuff? Yeah. So we're doing it different than a lot of other places where it's, you know, you put raffle tickets for specific things. We're just going to start with the small prizes and work our way up. First ticket, you guys ready? First prize, first ticket is going to, I'm going to read the last three, okay? Zero, nine, eight. Sorry about my... Come on up. All right, next winner for the last small self faucet pouch. Two, three, nine. Oh, we got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Most current survival scar. Like, don't go along. So you can look hip and survive. Butter, and the winning number is one, three, seven. Where's the other so, ticket that I gave you? <laughs> 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 Now people are lucky. It's a lot of tough possible stuff. They just gave us a lot of stuff. The winner for this guy is one, four, two. I don't want the, I don't, I don't want Come the, on. Hey, look at the, hey, no, the other guy with the hat on. Uh, <laughs> 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 to be fair, he has a buttload of tickets over here. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. I think I guessed it. All right, the next prize. Nice. Donated by Mike is going to be a grail. Whoa. There you go. Walter, come, come draw a ticket for me. Mix it up. Oh, it's his brother. Okay, I'll don't take draw that, that dude's number. I'll take that. What do you got? Uh, one five six. Damn it. 
<laughs> that's him. No. That's literally. <laughs> that's 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 <laughs> yeah. And it did pay off. Yeah. Me, 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 it was me. So that was really cool. We had a really good time with the raffle. Uh, it's funny how it works sometimes. There was a couple of people that won a lot of the prizes, but they also bought a lot of raffle tickets. So. It's been a great day, it's been a really fun event, but I think I am done videoing for today. And I'm gonna sit around and enjoy a conversation with some good people, enjoy a campfire and some food, and I will see you guys in the morning. So as you can see, we've got a thunderstorm coming. It's gonna be a big one, so we are all getting prepped up for that. Everybody's battening down the hatches. This is gonna be a good one. dodged a bullet last night it didn't uh, storm on us like I thought it was going to but we've got some storms coming in now and uh, everybody's kind of scrambling to get packed up so I slept really good last night but again we went to bed really late last night but this has been a great event um, Jimmy and all the guys Florida Bushcraft did a great job um, putting this thing together and Everybody had a great time. It was a great turnout. And uh, I can't wait to do it again. This was a lot of fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff packed up. I haven't even had any coffee yet. I'm going to get my stuff packed up. So just in case it rains. And uh, then I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. So I guess let's get stuff packed up first this time. That's a change. A new record for breaking camp and stuffing it all in my backpack so all right guys so as you can see we are all packed up and ready to go it has been a great trip got some things going on at home i gotta take care of so we gotta go ahead and get out of here i didn't even make coffee this morning so i will definitely be making a mcdonald's stop but appreciate you guys watching if you enjoyed this video give that big thumbs up for me if you haven't already hit that subscribe button you can follow us on facebook and instagram and you can follow florida bushcraft on facebook go follow those guys and maybe you'll be at one of these events in the future appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you next week